you are turned on to Midwest Outdoors magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Rappel Allures, Shakespeare Ugly Stick, America's strongest, most sensitive rod, Northwest Ontario, Canada, Abu Garcia, quality rods and reels for life. This week on Midwest Outdoors, great fishing and adventure in Wisconsin's Mercer County. We join the crew from Wiley X and tackle Lake Geneva Bass. And we visit Lake Abdogama in Voyagers National Park. It all starts right here, right now. If you've ever heard the call of the loon, it's haunting, it's beautiful, and it's peaceful all at the same time. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and today I'm in Mercer, Wisconsin, loon capital of the world. I'm fishing the Turtle Flambeau Flowage with local guide Doc Sabek and Randy Muzak. We're here, gonna test the waters of the flowage, see if we can catch some walleye. Stick with us and come enjoy Mercer, Wisconsin. Decent one, Doc? Yeah, this one's a, this one's a nice fish. Right on. Beautiful. Nice job, Randy. Now, Doc, this is the crown jewel of the Mercer area. We're fishing on the Turtle Flambeau Flowage, 17,000 acres, but there's got to be a ton of lakes around here that are fishable as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, Mercer's got uh, 200 lakes within a 20 um, square mile uh, area, and uh, you can, you know, Mercer Lake's good. Uh, Walleyes, musky, Echo Lake, uh, a lot of uh, walleyes, musky, panfish, and that kind of thing. Grand Portage uh, holds some nice walleyes. Uh, again, musky. You, you know, usually all the area lakes, you know, within you know a couple miles of Mercer have uh, just about every species you can think of. You know, as uh, as I mentioned uh, before, and all pretty decent fishing. Let's get some more of these guys, huh? Look at that golden color, just beautiful. So, Doc, what are we exactly looking for when you're trying to mark a position. Okay, what, what I like to do in, um, is stay in uh, uh, that 11 foot area and what we're looking for is um, uh, wood, some big stumps and uh, you know, sunken wood that's on, on the bottom. Those uh, walleyes have a tendency to hang you know, close to that right, you know, that depth at this time of the year. Uh, this thing's heavy. Good fish. Be a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice one. That's a dandy right there. You know, it hit three times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first two, I lost them. Third time's a charm, as they say, huh? And as Doc says, we're just fishing in the stumps. You can just feel the, the thump thumps. Sometimes you get caught. That's why we're using these weedless jigs, too. Look at that beautiful color. Picture perfect fish right there. Oh, we got a double. You know, it's not just the excellent fisheries of Mercer. It's a great vacation paradise as well. Right from the start, when you come into the Mercer Chamber of Commerce, there is a 30-foot loon that welcomes you right to Mercer. Downtown area is peaceful. It's got restaurants, shops, antique shops, lodges on every lake imaginable at any size. They have ATVing, bicycling, kayaking. They even have a tour that you can take of all the waterfalls in the area. It's just an excellent place to bring a family and a weekend outing, even a, a guy's trip if you want. Yeah. Looks like it's got some weight to it. Not too bad. Not a big one, but a nice one. Beautiful. Now, why do you think, Doc, that they're on this particular hump as opposed to the others or the flats? I'm thinking just uh, maybe more food on here. This area runs about 12 feet all the way around and now we've got about a two foot rise in here. 
So I'm thinking as we get you know towards the evening more, they're starting to come up to, to feed on that, that shallower spot. Well, you know, you look around and this place is beautiful. It's like being in Canada without crossing the border. If you want to book a vacation, check out the website or the phone number below and come on up and experience part of this paradise, if you will. I'm Larry Ladowski. I want to thank Doc and Randy for joining me today. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. I'll catch you later. Looking for a great getaway? Visit Minnesota's vacation paradise, International Falls, Rainy Lake, and Rainier. There's more to see and do here than we have time to tell. The most popular attraction is our world-class fishery. Rainy is known for walleye, smallmouth bass, northern pike, and crappie. The walleye catch rate is five times greater than the average Minnesota lake. Bassmasters rank Rainy number 11 of the top 100 bass lakes in the country. Need more information? Log on to rainylake.org. Hey, you remember when we were hanging out last night? You know, me, you, Gail. That's my girl. <laughs> you guys are awesome. And then you went to bed. I was tired. You were super tired. And then it was just me and Gail. Mm-hmm. Alone. Ah! What? Oh, 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 yeah! It's all in the pause. New Shadow Rap from Rapala. Hey, this is Walt Matten from Waterworks, along with my buddy Mark O'Neill, StructureFishing.com. We're on Lake Geneva. We're, gonna, we're faced with all kinds of weather today. We've got storms moving in and out. We've got calm. We've got wind. Hopefully, we'll catch some fish. Yep. Let's get to it, Mark. Go to it. Yep. Netter? Netter, yep. This is like a pretty good one. They do put up a nice fight out here. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can see them down there. I mean, it's you can see 15 feet down there. Yeah. One of the things that's nice with these sunglasses is amber lenses. And even in a cloudy day like today, it takes the glare off the water and you can I see, mean, what, that fish see what's is going 15 on. 15 below. Yeah, 15, 15 foot feet down, there. down and I can yeah. see him. The problem is the fish can see us. I don't, <laughs> I don't think he's, he's got naturally amber lenses, right? <laughs> he's not done yet. <laughs> All right. Oh. Nice. That's a teenager. Yep. They fight as big as a, a 20 incher. Exactly. Got him? Yeah, yep. boy. Look like you can see that fish clear as day. Yep. Ooh, I saw him there. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, a little bigger than mine. There we go. All right. Beautiful. These fish are, we're on a finger off of a weed edge, basically, and I think they use the, uh, Weed edges, they come in from the deeper water and they feed. The trick is to intercept them before they get to the shallow water where the food is. So being right on that edge is critical. Like we've been moving around, not seeing anything. As soon as we hit the edge of the weeds, boom, we pulled the fish out of the weeds. You know, so we're out here fishing and within a matter of just a minute or two, the wind starts whipping up and now it's just, it's gotta be at least, I don't know, 15, 20 mile an hour wind. You know, one of the things that's, that's nice about these Wiley X glasses, this pair that I've got here, is they've got this gasket right in here. And this gasket seals around your eyes, so no d debris, dirt, you know, wind, it's not gonna get in there, rain obviously, but this is removable. It's a real nice feature on these glasses. And, you know, the sunglasses are important not only for you know being able to see in the water, but also to protect your eyes from the element. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Small mouth. I'm Small guessing. Small mouth. Got another storm moving in. The fish yeah. are getting a little active. Another little uh, what I call teenager. I, I will say on, on Lake Geneva we have a whole year class of, of fish that are in this. 14 to 16 inch range, and um, I think they they outfight some of these bigger fish at times. Got a bite? We got a double? Got a double. All right. See, I told you if we came over here to this point, <laughs> they'd be here, right? Yes, yeah, sir. You're the man, Walt. Yeah, my intuition never fails yep. us. 
and one. one. When you're really fighting these larger fish like this, you really want the rod to do the work. You know, just set your dad drag, don't horse them in. Oh, there we go. Mm. Nice, right in there. Yes, sir. That's what we've been looking for. Lake Geneva small. See, and mine's, and mine, mine is, mine is yeah, a little bigger. Yeah, a little yeah. bigger. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. That's why you never give up. It started off being a beautiful day, came around to some rough weather, and it's starting to clear up again. So we'll see what ends up happening. That that's a nice smallie right there. Tell you what, the sun has come out, and we're in here shallow water, kind of fishing around piers and cover and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out of this amber pair of Wiley X sunglasses over to the charcoal, and right away I can see I've got a, a crib right in front of me here. I've got a weed line. Most sunglasses come in four colors, amber, gray, blue, and green. And they each have their own time of the day where they work the best. Right now we got the gray ones on, charcoal ones, and bright day, there's what, there's, that's what's working for me. Got them. Got them? All right. Yep. You know, one of the things we can see is we, we saw this, there's like a little weed bed and drop off. We didn't have our glasses on here, we wouldn't be able to see that drop off where these bass are holding. So that's a good looking guy right there. I'll grab him for you. There we go. Ah. Hey, they're pretty out here, huh? Yeah, great coloring. Yep, great coloring. Maybe about a 15 incher. Not bad, not bad. The glasses I'm wearing now are the Wiley X Knife. You know, they meet OSHA standards, ANSI certification. You could definitely use them on the job site. Not only just out here fishing, but if you ride a motorcycle, out there in the open. These things are high impact, definitely a good safety pair of glasses, along with being able to see out here like we're yeah, doing now. Yeah, Nice Lake Geneva smallmouth. There's a nice Lake Geneva smallmouth, that's right. So another great feature of these glasses, you know, is if, you're, if you wear glasses and you need a prescription, you can get these under prescription. So what you wanna do is go onto their website, wileyx.com for more information. Oh, there we go, Mark. All right, hey, thanks, nice, Walt. Nice fat guy. Well, I had a great time on the water out here at Lake Geneva. I'd like to thank Mark O'Neill, StructureFishing.com, for more information on Mark's guide service. And, you know, we came out here. I brought Mark some different sunglasses to try, and we were kind of like, you know, you know, sunglasses, right? Yeah. How excited can we get? I'm pretty doggone excited about these Wiley X sunglasses. We've had all these different weather patterns. We've got sunny. We've got dark. We put on those lenses, that one you got on there. Oh, it's amazing. I can, I can see. It's like HD television. Yeah. You know, we really learned the importance today on different color glasses of different situations. You know, just like you go out and better get a good pair of shoes and another good pair of boots for the wintertime, you need a couple pairs of good sunglasses if you're going to spend time in the outdoors. Until next time, Walt Matten and Mark O'Neill, Midwest Outdoors will be right back. Artisan's Rocky Point Resort is your gateway to the 1 million acres Lake of the Woods has to offer. Trophy walleye, huge northern pike, sauger, and jumbo perch. All this just steps away when you stay at Artisan's Rocky Point. Bring your own boat or enjoy a day on the water with world-class charter boats and experienced captains. Stay in one of our spacious cabins that come equipped with all the conveniences of home. Enjoy first-class service at the Rock Harbor Lodge and full-service bar. Call 1-800-535-7585 or visit artisans.com. Nothing performs on the water like Wiley X Eyewear. Wind, debris, and peripheral light are sealed out for maximum polarization. And when the fish bite back, our shatterproof lenses don't flinch. Wiley X Eyewear, absolute premium protection. Hi folks, I'm Greg Jones and today on the show we are joined by the guide Frank House. We're up at uh, Cabotogama Lake right in the middle of beautiful Voyagers National Park. We're uh, in September, it's a great time of year to be up here. We're going to show you all the things you can do all year round, so stay with us. It's going to be a great show. There you That's go. Fish. He might even be one big enough for you to eat. So Frank, how big is uh, Cabotogama? 
Uh, Captogama is uh, six miles wide at the widest point and about 25 miles long. There you go. That's a nice one for the dinner table, huh? Yes, it is. A really nice one, about 15 inches. Well, as Frank was saying, Cabotogama Lake is about 25 miles long. It's about six miles wide. Being part of the Voyager National Park system and actually the only water-based national park in the country, it connects up to about 65,000 acres of water. And they say there's about 200 islands out here. Absolutely beautiful place to spend your spring, summer, fall, or winter. There, I found them. Thought I was gonna go dry all day. Looks like a decent one, too. Yeah, got the rod bending. Oh, oh yeah, Mr. Nice. Northern. Oops. So when you're out fishing, Frank, of course you're here to catch walleyes, but what else do you see in the lake? What else? Well, there's northerns. Yep. And in Captogama Lake, there's some really nice northerns. They're 15, you can even run into a 20 pounder once in a while. Sure. Perch fishing has been really good out here. So yep. this, uh, a couple of years ago, it was excellent, but we're still getting, you know, quite a mixed bag with the perch and the walleyes. Uh, some nice slab crappies once in a while, mostly this time of year, but you do pick up a few scattered ones in the summertime. Yeah, we might have to go you know, find one of them later. We're gonna. You know, when you look around when you're on Lake Cavatoga, well, what you notice is the untarnished shorelines. That's one of the great things the National Park has to offer here. Now, there's only a small area on Cabotogama where it is developed, and that's where you're gonna find the resorts. Now, when it comes to staying up here, you can find a resort that'll suit your needs. Now, if camping's your thing, they got the Wooden Frog State Forest uh, campground right there. And then out here in the park itself, they have primitive camping sites that you can come out and stay on your own, all on your own little island. So, if you're thinking about coming up this way, they've got some lodging that's gonna suit your needs. got on here. A little walleye there. Another one for the dinner table. You know, and when you're talking uh, outdoor destinations, if you like winter, this place is one of the greatest places to come for snowmobiling. You've got uh, hundreds of miles of trails, plus being so far in northern Minnesota that snow comes early and it stays late. A lot of people love to come up here and enjoy the snowmobile trails. That walleye's got a little dent in him. Yeah, he's been bent. I kind of Maybe that's why he fought so good. He might as well make lunch. That might be a decent fish. I don't know, that or bottom. That's gonna be a fish. And I got him. Got him. I'm on the net. Yeah, it feels like it might be a perch. And we were talking about some big perch being around. Oh, oh there it is. that's a nice perch. Pretty good guess, isn't oh, it? That'd make every person in Wisconsin extremely oh. excited. We better hold that up. That is a, there you go, there's your catch. You've been getting perch like that throughout the summer, huh? Pretty much, yeah, you get half a dozen every day, no matter what. Yep, and, uh, that'll even eat better than a walleye yep. tonight. Ooh, this one might have a little shoulder to her. Well, the rod's bent good. Yeah, oh. That's a nice size one, it's got Making me smile. Come on, oh. That bite and set in the hook, that'll take care of any problem you may have right there. Ooh, there he is. Look at it's, that. it's one too big. That's a nice one. That's fish. all right, though. That's a real nice walleye right I'll there. I'll catch them two big ones for you all day, Frank. Well, right there is some of the bounty of Cabotogama Lake, one of the reasons, and just one of the reasons you do come up here. They got some great walleye fishing, they got some great scenery. Matter of fact, it feels like you're living in a postcard when you're up here. Doesn't matter what time of the year it is. We want to give a big shout out to Kex Cove for putting us up on this trip and uh, giving us a little dinner while we're here. A big thank you to Frank House for putting us on the fish. Frank guides up here. He also guides for big game. He can put you on a bear also if you're in the area. If you'd like to find out how to get up here and enjoy this beautiful place, all you got to do is look up cabotogama.com. Uh, they got all the information you're going to need to get up here on their website. 
You're gonna enjoy the trip and you're gonna feel totally refreshed when you get done with your vacation here. Time for you to go back home. Stronger. Tougher. Still just as ugly. Introducing the next generation Ugly Stick GX2. Ugly never quits. Your family adventure begins with Voyager Houseboats of Crane Lake. Explore Voyager's National Park with all the comforts of home. Voyager houseboats provide fun for all ages. And now, introducing the brand new Voyager Lodge. Explore 14 new luxurious hotel rooms, as well as the new bar and restaurant. Log on to houseboatvacations.com or call 1-800-88-BOATS. Hi, I'm Seth Fighter, and I'm going to show you how I rig up a drop shot. It's a real simple rig, works really good on some, anywhere you got small mouths any time of year. First start off with a VMC Sure Set. I use a one, one hot if I'm using a bulkier bait, but that number one size is pretty good. Set the hook on the line. Run it back through so you're doubled up. And normally, I tie a polymer knot for almost everything, but anytime I get to eight pound test or lighter, I, I use a double clinch knot. It's just like your regular clinch knot. Everybody knows how to tie, but you, have, you do it with the line doubled up. Running around six times. Back through the loop you created. Loop it up a little bit. Cinch it down. Now you're gonna have three tag ends. That little loop, you don't need it. Cut it off. Take that tag in, run it back down through the top of your hole of your line tie. Pull it tight, that way your hook will stick out to the side like that, keeps your bait horizontal. Determine how long you want your leader. I usually go oh, six inches to two feet, but we'll do about 12 inches today. I'll just tie a single overhand knot in my tag end. Pop it off. And then when you thread your uh, sinker on there, just go to the back of that knot and pull it in there. That way when a fish jumps and throws your weight around, it won't come off your line. You're ready to go. This is Seth Fighter with your Midwest Outdoors Tip of the Week. Closed captioning of Midwest Outdoors, sponsored by Midwest Outdoors Magazine, on your newsstand now, and the all-new MidwestOutdoors.com, loaded with video, articles, and TV episodes.